Hey folks, I'm Oswald and welcome to Sinking In. This is made by Open Alpha, which I think is like a school club at USC, which I want to say is uh, University of South Carolina. So I thought that was cool and wanted to check it out. Let's see, do you have state of move, space to interact with objects, X to go back, one through nine to talk inventory. Okay, usual stuff. It's a little puzzle game from what I've seen. And it looks like I'm just a little little dude a floating ducky did someone leave it behind i don't know i'm just a little pool boy who's at the community pool at night for some odd reason what's this looks like your school that's my school backpack what's this you got a key why is it like two times the size of me it is massive Holy crap, okay. Um, hi sir. Hotel guest. Hey kid, get out of here. Last thing this place needs is a youth running about. Fuck you, old man. You kiss my ass. This is this your room? There must be some way to get back in. Well, I have a key, don't I? I'm trying. X. X. Oh no. Alright, well I guess that's just not it. Ooh, lockers. Found a note and a room key. We'll be back later tonight. Don't lose this letter or the key. Be good, mom and dad. I think that's what that said. All right, yep. What was this? Hotel room. Okay, cool. Sick. <phone rings> Looks like that was it. Door's open now. Yay! Ooh, I don't like the teddy bear. Hi, teddy. Parents got Roosevelt at a thrift store and tried to sew them together. It didn't work well. Yeah, clearly. Oh, we're, that's just... Okay, that's all we have to say about that. The TV isn't working, but there aren't any interesting channels in motels anyway. That's fair. Anything? Ooh. The desk is decrepit, and the chair looks as though it'll shatter under your weight. I think it'll be fine. I'm, I'm kind of the size of maybe that pillow. Whoa. I... I went to the window. I guess I hopped out through the window. That was weird. Anything over here? Yeah. No? Oh god. No, am I stuck? Oh, what? What the hell? That was weird. It was a knocking. But the door's open. I kinda wanna shut the door now. Roosevelt, was that you? I don't trust Roosevelt. He's very creepy. Okay, we're back out here. Hi, old man. You have anything to say about that? Hey, kid, get out of here. Well, you suck, old man. Ooh. The whole pool is lit up. Can I go in the lobby? No. Can I go over here? I don't like that I just disappeared. Oh, okay. That's fine. This world is similar, but it's different from before. Did I just go through a portal in the opposite world? What the hell? Hi, old man. You have anything to say? No? With your red eyes? That's great. Okay. Can I go in the bathroom now? Can I go by? No, uh, no. You'd always forget your goggles when you went to swim. They aren't here now either. I'm looking for my goggles. Mom? Hey, glad you could make it. I don't remember having a sibling. Look, I know Mom and Dad have been fighting a lot, but I'm here for you, okay? Why don't you grab a snack? I'm sure that'll make you feel better. From where? The TV? Roosevelt? Roosevelt looks fit and proper. His bow is no longer skewed. He's fluffy again. Aw, at least Roosevelt's better. I don't trust you. I don't trust you at all. You look like a dick. TV. Desk is perfect place for arts and crafts. You sink into the chair's cushion. Nah, I couldn't hold my lack amount of weight before. I don't trust you, sibling. Don't know where it is? No, I don't. There's a vending machine in the lobby. Why don't you check there? Because I could go in the lobby. Hmm. 
Okay, sibling. With no... Okay, it wouldn't let me leave. That's different. One, three, four, six, seven. That seemed like a code. You have anything to say about this creepy old man that just hangs out at the pool all day? Key? Does key work? No. Uh, sibling. How do I get in? There was a dog barking under our window last night. Kind of reminds me of when I dog set for our neighbors over the summer years ago. You were always terrified of dogs, so you hid behind me when we went to check in. Do you like dogs any better now? I like dogs. Dogs are cool. Saw that old guy hanging out by the door later. Seems like a real grouch if you ask me. Well, he doesn't speak. Saw that old guy. Seems like a real grouch. Okay. You're not helping. Um, uh, Where do I go? Can't interact with the lockers. Nothing in there. One, three, four, six, seven. I don't know. Old man? Play lobby? It's locked. Maybe I have to go through the other boat. Nothing's back to normal now. My towel. I can't believe this place still hasn't taken care of their stray dog problem. Say, Cage, would you mind grabbing my towel for me? I'm not as spry as I used to be, as you can probably tell, and I'm afraid if I slip, well, I won't be able to get back up. And I certainly can't go back to my room without crying off. So wouldn't you please help me? Sure, old man. <gasps> you f fuck off, doggy. I don't like the way you came in hot and heavy. Oh, I guess that's not his towel. Come here, dog. Give me the towel. Give me... Give me the... Dog barks. It's like... It likes the towel. You're too scared to take it. Fuck that dog. Take that towel. I ain't scared of no pooch. Alright, well, what am I supposed to do about that? One... Three... Four... Six... Seven... Nope. I don't like the very unsettling background music either. Winston, not Winston, Roosevelt. Oh, I keep thinking that's knocking. It's not, it's just a drum beat. God damn game. Uh, hi, doggo. That, uh, that doesn't seem right. Hey, pal. Hello, young chap. I hear you're in the market for a towel. Fortunately for you, I have one of those, but you have to play a game first. Assuming you're familiar with hopscotch, just follow the pattern nice and simple. Okay. One, three, four, six, seven. Lovely, but you've got it wrong. Why are you doing it here? You know this is all in your head, right? Okay, so I am, I am insane. This is all bull. Hi sibling, I saw that old guy. Alright, you're you're useless now. Okay. To the other world. Everything's back to normal now. One, three, four, six, seven. Rough rough. Dog drops the towel, looks impressed. I don't like I don't like that the dog understands in this world too. I feel like that's worse. You picked up the towel. Hey kid. Took you long enough. I'll take that. Thanks, kid. Take this. You got a quarter. You know, back in my day, that could get you a whole stack of candy bars. Hmm, in this economy, I'd reckon it'd get you at least one. It would not. It would not. Not even close. Okay, old man. Just moonwalk over me. Thanks. Oh, you look mean. Hello, sir. Ring-a-ling. Uh, hey there, kid. Are your parents around here somewhere? They don't pay me to be babysit random kids. Well, really, they barely pay me any. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Anyway, you should go back to your room. I see you've got some spare change. Feel free to grab a snack from the vending machine. Or you can always drop it in the tip jar. No, I've only got a quarter right now. Well, if you need anything, I'll just be here. Nah, screw you. I want candy. Looks like the only thing left in the gummy bear is gummy bears. They're 50 cents. Hello, Sir Rat. Do you have anything to say about this, good sir? Mousy man. Can I talk to you? Buy something or don't. Whatever. I don't get paid enough to care. Just don't cause any trouble. I'm gonna be a pain. Alright, well I need 50 more cents. Hmm, can I leave? No, Mr. Rat? No. Uh... 50 cent gummy bears. I knew that wouldn't be over enough to give me anything. Stupid 25 cents. Doggo? Pooch? You pet the dog, you're just happy. Yay! Happy doggo. Okay. 
Nope. All right. So I wanted to check and see if there's anything in there. This world is similar, but it's different from the one before. Yep. 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 I know the drill. You seem happy. The mouse looks fancy and evil. Hey, you kid. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Off the carpet. I don't need you dripping pool water all over the lobby floors. It's going to take ages to clean up. Keep your grubby fingers off the front desk, too. And keep it down. I swear I heard a mouse around here somewhere. I can barely think with how much of a ruckus you're causing. Dude, I've been in here for like five seconds. You ain't getting tips. Screw you. Hey there, buddy. Need some money, don't you? I know the gleam in your eye. Here's the deal. I want to be in charge around these parts, but that guy behind the desk calls the shots. That ends today. He put cheese in this room, and he thinks I'm fool enough to fall for his trap. You get me the cheese, I'll get you the money. I'll lead the way. Find the cheese. I don't want... Okay, I guess to the other world? Everything's back to normal now. Great. You gonna show me the way, mouse? You said you'd lead the way, you douche. Put cheese in this room. Did you, you jerk? I just don't cause trouble. Eh? Don't you just, yeah, yeah. Don't you just cause trouble. Gummy bears. Table. You look under the table. There's an old rat trap with some cheese. Take the cheese from the trap. Is this what you wanted, mouse? Do I have to go back to the other world? Alright, gotta go back to the other world. There's a lot of switching back and forth between our worlds. Your mind world, or my mind world, the real world. Hmm, not bad. Hand it over. I'll get you your coin. Uh, I, a uh, quarter. You give the mouse the cheese. Squeak! Oh. Okay. <gasps> Jesus Christ, mouse. Uh, the quarter. Give me the quarter. I want it. How do I? The other world? I gotta go to the other world? Boys, crack. Get stuck doing the mouse voice. <laughs> this is so weird. This is so odd. You reach your hand in the tip jar and find a quarter. Screw you. He's still asleep. He. Okay. He's very much not. Put the quarters in the vending machine. Something falls out of the machine. You have gummy bears. Hmm, they were your sibling's favorite, weren't they? Oh, god damn it. I don't think the sibling even said that. I like that I only have a sibling in my mind, world. Or I guess I don't. Who's knock, knock, knocking? Okay. Fancy doggo, do you have anything to say? Nice job, kid. You should consider a career in professional hopscotch. I don't think that's a thing, but whatever you say, partner. Alright. My world? You've grown up. I see. Last time we met, you could barely walk around. Do you even remember me? Uh, kind of. You were in my mind world. Looks like mom and dad have chucked you to the side. That's rude. Can't say I'm really surprised. Hey, fuck you, asshole. Ugh. They really sh thought I'd want to take you in? What kind of parents were they, really? Now I've got to come and clean up their messes. Don't you move, I've got to think this through. You're an asshole. You want some gummy bears, douche? Floating duck, did someone leave it behind? That's not what I selected. Four. Gummy bears. Floating duck, no, screw the duck. This guy. What? Gummy bears? How did you- Huh. I guess you remembered more than I gave you credit for. Alright, my mind's made up. Don't get too excited. It's not going to be fun with me. But at least, at least I can get you away from that. Come on, let's get you out of here. <gasps> Yay! Sibling! Why are you making funny noises? Don't murder me, please. Oh! That was it? Oh, that was such a cute little game. That was fun. I actually really liked that. That was sad. That was super sad. <laughs> my parents weren't coming back. I was abandoned. And left to deal with my own mind to puzzle my way home. God, my parents were assholes, apparently. They didn't give a shit. I guess the, the tore up bear made sense. Oh, God. Voice crack. I think I'm a little sick. I guess the tore up bear made some sense then, if they just really didn't care. 
What are you? Hold on. What? What are you doing, orchestra? Why are you getting all funky on me? Ooh, what's happening? Why is it going backwards? What's at the top? Also, I freaking love this music. This music rocks. I could listen to this shit all day. Yeah, that was a neat little game. I, uh... I don't un quite understand the mind world, but I guess the imagination of a child is endless. But, uh, that was cool. And it's really cool that it's, uh, made by a school. It was a school that worked on this. Uh, like I think I said USC, so... I think that's cool. I wish there were more projects, uh, groups like this in school so kids could have an outlet to try and get into this kind of thing. And I guess this is just going to repeat. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, link is down in the description below to try and play it for yourself. I think there might be another ending because the duck was still there and I feel like the duck does something. You might be able to get away with your parents or something. I don't know. But uh, if you'd like to try to find out, the link is down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.